Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Pawan Arora. So today I will talk about uh, sum of scale. The the usage of sum of scale mostly we use in uh, ANOVA in uh, correlation and regression analysis. So in ANOVA, if most of you are familiar with Lean and Six Sigma, you know that suppose we have to compare the data of of group A or group B or suppose we are getting some material from different vendors and we want to compare the data of different vendor maybe the maybe the delivery time of those vendors uh, or maybe if you want to compare the data of our throughput or outcome of different shift like shift a shift b shift c so in these cases we used anova and the base of anova is sum of scale so today we will talk about sum of scale I will show you two versions of that. One is how you calculate sum of scale through Excel file. And the second I will also show you, <coughs> sorry, how you can calculate sum of scale by mini tab. Okay, so let's start. Now you can see in the column number A, we have shift. So this is the data of different shifts. We have first shift, second, and if you go down, we have third shift. And similarly, we have a data in the column number B. This data is throughput of a particular machine, which is running in shift number one, shift number two, and shift number three. So we want to compare this, whether shift one is working better than second and third, or maybe shift second or is working better than first and third. Indirectly, we are comparing shift a shift b shift c and we are looking that is any shift is generating more throughput compared to other or not so whenever we do this there are so the the methodology behind this is called sum of scale so we try to calculate the sum of scales of error which is also called within variation within variation means there should be or there our chances is the variations are there between the shift. I mean the variation between shift A, shift 2, or shift 3. And the second thing which we look is the variation between all the data points, means all the shift, shift A, shift, sorry, first shift, second shift, and third shift, all together, what is the total variation? So that is called sum of scale of total, okay? And finally, if we have sum of scale of total and sum of scale of errors, we can get the sum of scale between variation between in the zones between these data points. Okay, so how to do it? It's very simple. First of all, for each particular shift, in this case, for each particular shift, we will try to take the average of each shift. So if you see shift A or shift first has these many data and the average is coming as 94.21. Similarly, if you go to shift number two data, so you have the average here, which is 95.5, and same way for shift number C. So what I did is, I put all the averages here for shift first, shift second, and shift third. And then this is the grand average, as I mentioned, for entire data points. So whatever the data we have, 34 data points. So total average is 94.5, which is showing here as a grand average. So first we will try to take or try to get sum of scales within or sum of scales of errors or within variations. So how to get it? You just need to calculate x minus x bar for each shift. So for example, this is your x for shift 1. You have to have a difference of x minus x bar. So here x bar is nothing but the average of shift first. So here, if you see B2 minus B36, so if I go down, so B36 is nothing but the average of shift 1. Same way average of shift 2 and average of shift 3. So we have taken the differences accordingly. Now, if you go to shift 2, so formula has been changed. It's B37 because B37 representing the average of second shift data. And if you go to B, if you go to third shift, so it will be B38, which is showing the difference, sorry, average of third shift data points, okay? After that, you have to take the sum of 
squares. So sum of squares of this. So minus 2.8 multiplied with minus 2.8, 0 0.38 multiplied with 0 0.38 and so on. So this will tell us within variation because here we are taking the differences or the 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 the, the variations between each shift, right? And if I get the sum of these data points, which is 163.85, which is here, is called within variation. Okay. The second part, which is called sum of square of total. Total is nothing but the grand variation indirect way. So here you have the data point, which is B2 minus B39. So B39 is nothing but your grand average. If you can see here, this is the grand average, B39. So this is how we can get our x minus x bar grand value. And for the same concept, we have to do the, the square of these numbers. So when we do the square, we will get all these values, which is called total variations or sum of square of total or SST. Now you have to do the sum of all these, which is 182.68. So now we have the sum of square or within variation for errors sum of square of total and the last which is sum of scares of shifts in our case we are saying shift if it is the data of vendors we will say sum of scares of vendors and so on so that's also called between variation how you will get this this is nothing but the total minus the sum of scares of errors or the within variation so this is the difference now i'll also tell you how you can calculate this through minitab so let me just go to Minitab. I'm using Minitab 17. You can use Minitab 14, 15, whatever you have in your system as a statistical, sorry, statistical tool. What you have to do is you have to copy this entire data. And you have to just paste this data here, right? And then you have to go to Stat and use ANOVA and OneWay ANOVA. Whenever you open, you will get this window. In window, you have a blue color, which is talking about whether your data is in one column or if you click, it is asking whether it's in the separate columns. In our case, all the data you can see is in one column. So I'm selecting the first option. Go to the response, select the data and factors obviously is the shift because we are comparing the shift data. Okay, go to the graph. You put four in one, it would be easy instead of getting each and individual plot separately. Uh, compared to the comparison, I'm not touching this part for now. I will explain you in my next video what is the meaning of like uh, Qkey or Fisher or or other kind of assumptions of equal variance. Okay. Now coming to storage, this is something important because it's connect with our sum of scale. So I'm selecting both fits and residuals. Click OK and click OK. Now, uh, when you have this, so uh, let me minimize this. I will discuss this in my next slides, in my next, sorry, video. Uh, so now you have the data. Let me just explain you what exactly it is. So when you have the ANOVA table for this particular video, I'm not touching the entire part, but I'm touching this called analysis of variance. So now here, if you see, this will give us 182.69 which is the sum of scare of total. If I go to my Excel sheet, I can see here on the top, this is sum of scare of total, which is same as this. Sum of scare of errors, which is nothing but 163.85 or within variation. So this is here. And finally, the sum of scare of shift, which is 18.83. So it's here, which is called between variations. Okay, so if you, if you, uh, and most important thing, this is the base of your ANOVA, right? And now let's get back to this particular sheet. This is also called worksheet. In our worksheet, we are getting two areas, which is called fits and residuals. Now residuals is nothing but the differences between your data and the, and the averages. So if you see the first hit this, this is showing minus, 2.81420 correct and if you see this this is also the same so all these is called residuals right so these are residuals if i go to the next one 0 
0.38580. So this is also 0 0.38580, which is coming from your within variations when you are comparing the data with respect to uh, each shift for this particular example. So this is called residues and this is called fits. So fits is nothing but this minus this or this minus this, this minus this. So this is called your fits data. So whenever we have data, we always try to calculate the residues and then we calculate the differences. So 91.4 minus, which will become plus. So plus 2.8, you will get 94.2. In similar way, this is 95, this is 0 0.78. If you minus this, you will get 94.2142. So most of the people are not aware what is fits, what is residuals. So this is how you can calculate fits, residuals. And the most important is the base of your ANOVA. The base in the sense because ANOVA is totally depend upon your P values, F values. And these values can only come when you have the sum of scales. Okay. So this is how you can ca calculate some of scares. And as I mentioned in my next videos, I will also share with you the deep dive of ANOVA. Okay. So in this case, for this particular case, if I see this P value, so P value is 0 0.185, which is higher than your alpha risk, which is here. So we, in this way, we cannot reject the null hypothesis. Okay. So we are saying all the means are equal so this is how you can say the all the means are equal means the throughput of all the shift are equal according to the statistical analysis okay so this is how we analyze the data through many times i hope you like this video